There's so much to see, do, and eat in Aruba. And whether you're looking for a relaxing beach, exotic nature, or exciting history, Aruba's got you covered. Today we're covering the top 10 things you need to do when visiting Aruba. Let's start with the main reason why most people come to Aruba, and that's for the amazing beaches that line the island. And while there are many fantastic beaches to choose from, there are two in particular that are absolute crowd favorites, and that you need to check out. The first of these beaches is Palm Beach, and is probably the most famous beach in Aruba. Palm Beach is located right out front of the major high-rise hotels in Aruba, which makes a really nice backdrop of this beach. The waters here are crystal clear and warm, and the sand might be the softest sand we've ever walked on. Along this beach, there are umbrellas and long chairs everywhere for you to rent, as well as shops for you to sign up for snorkel tours, party boats, or even private charters. We saw some people out having fantastic times on these party cruises, and I've had friends that love them. So if you're looking for a lively time, you'll definitely want to check those out. So we're sitting on Palm Beach right now, and it's really fun. It's just lively, but it's still pretty calm. Um, yeah, it's a funny combination of like being very family friendly, and then you see these huge boats coming in with people partying on them. <laughs> Yeah, it's hilarious. While at Palm Beach, you'll need to walk north along the beach until you hit the Hada Karari Beach. This is where everyone windsurfs, and it's a great spot to hang out and watch some of the thrill seekers fly through the air. Seriously, this is really cool. The other beach you should check out is Eagle Beach. This is located more towards the low-rise hotels and is a little less hustle and bustle than Palm Beach. You'll still have options to rent chairs, and there's also lots of little areas with cutouts of shaded trees for you to relax in for free. This is important because Aruba is notoriously windy, and these trees can be useful not only for shade, but also to cut out the incessant wind. The second thing you should do when visiting Aruba is to visit Cassibari which is an incredible rock formation on the island. This area is really cool to explore. These are paths up and down the rocks for you to hike and climb. This area is also neat because they have found ancient paintings on these rocks dating back thousands and thousands of years, which shows the significance this area has been to the people here for many, many years. Yeah, I can't get over how impressed I am with this place. It almost feels like you're walking around on another planet because all the cactuses and the shrubs look so interesting. Yeah, if you draw me here, I would not guess that this is Aruba. It would be more like Arizona or something. We were told that these rocks were made without any cement. Seems like it's worked pretty well for, I don't know, a couple hundred years. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not really sure. At the top of the largest rock, you can gain some great views of the island, including Mount Hoyabur, the second largest mountain on the island. We really were pleasantly surprised by this place and really loved the interesting plants and animals we saw here. This is so cool. It's like you're in a forest entirely of cactuses. So you gotta be careful and <laughs> you're not gonna prick yourself, but man. This is actually way cooler than I expected. We're on the right track. We got another one of these guys. Pointing us the way. Expect to spend 45 minutes or so exploring the rocks unless you plan on grabbing a drink at the bar area, in which case you can easily tack on some more time. The third thing you need to see when visiting Aruba is the Natural Bridge. The Natural Bridge area is located around one of the rougher sections of ocean along the island, and you'll need to traverse a dirt road to get here. We were able to do this in a standard sedan, so rest assured you don't need a 4x4 off-roading monster truck to get you there. Natural Bridge is one of the natural wonders Aruba is known for, and while the larger Natural Bridge bridge collapsed when Hurricane Katrina hit the island in 2005, there's a smaller natural bridge that is still neat to check out. This is a really cool natural forming stone walkway carved out by the ocean, and the area around it is super neat as well. Along the shore here are tons of rocky cliffs that are known for giant splashes as waves crash into them, so be prepared to channel your inner Little Mermaid while singing on the rocks here. I have never seen waves like this. Yeah, it feels like a Disney World ride. Just be sure to keep your footing here as the rocks can be wet. We don't recommend getting too close to the water here as it can be dangerous, but it's still really cool to view from afar. While near the natural bridge, it's a great time to check out our fourth destination, which is to visit the ruins of the Bushy Barana Gold Mine. These ruins date all the way back to the 1800s and look absolutely otherworldly nestled in this ocean desert landscape. The ruins here are free to explore and you'll do so at your own pace. There aren't any guardrails or roped off sections, so be sure to use caution if you choose to enter and explore the ruins. Once inside, you'll find some great photo ops and you'll be able to peek out some old windows as you explore. You'll also find areas that will shield you from the island's endless wind and from the top, you'll have some great views of the surrounding area. It's almost like feeling like you're an Indiana Jones exploring this because it's these really cool ruins 
ruins and you're just like, got your mind out, like, all right, there's gold somewhere here. <laughs> Maybe I'll be the lucky one to find. Outside the ruins, you'll find a garden of thousands and thousands of stacked stones. While here, be sure to find some stones to stack yourself so you can add to this one of a kind landscape. Really quick, if this video is helping you out, please do us a huge, huge, huge favor and hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and please leave us a comment down below. Those three actions are free ways that you can really help out our channel and it really motivates us to make more content. Okay, moving on to the fifth thing you should do when visiting the happy island of Aruba is to do an ATV tour. We actually have never done an ATV tour ourselves, but given how neat this landscape is, if you're into adventure activities, you'll certainly want to try this. These tours take you all across this one-of-a-kind landscape, and it looks like an absolute blast. You can find plenty of people selling tours along Palm Beach if you're interested. The sixth thing you need to do when visiting Aruba is to visit Palm Beach Plaza. Palm Beach Plaza is the main shopping center and nightlife location for visitors to Aruba, and this area really has something for everyone. There are options for just about every kind of meal you can think of, and the environment itself is fantastic and very family-friendly. We felt in incredibly safe everywhere we went in Aruba, even after the sun went down. And Palm Beach Plaza is no exception. Not to mention, as the sun goes down, the sunsets here are amazing, and with the lights coming up, it's a really cool ambiance. You can expect to find free live music in the outdoor auditorium, and it really is a nice spot to relax. They also have one of the famous Aruba signs nearby if you're looking to snap a quick photo to document your time in Aruba. The seventh thing you need to do when visiting Aruba is to check out Oranjustad. Oranjustad is the capital of Aruba, and it's a lively area to explore. The name is Dutch, like many other names on the island, and comes from the Dutch who initially settled the island. While in Oranjustad, expect to explore cool shops and take in some of the unbelievable architecture in the Dutch style. There's even a free trolley you can take that winds you through the city, which is something you should do if you're looking for a fun way to take in the sights without walking too much. While in the area, you should walk down to the eighth thing you should try when visiting Aruba, and that is to visit Renaissance Market. This lively area is home to many shops, restaurants, and live music, and is very similar in atmosphere to the Palm Beach Plaza. Being so close to the city and waterfront, this area is a fun spot to explore if you're looking for dinner, drinks, or just an enjoyable spot to enjoy the energy. Just be careful. During one of the free concerts, you might even run into some dancing babies. Seriously, how adorable is this? Okay, while in Renaissance Plaza, it could be the perfect time to try one of the local delicacies Aruba is known for. So the ninth thing you need to do when visiting Aruba is to try a Dutch pancake. We have Dutch pancakes here. It's something we really want to try in Aruba. They have a Dutch influence here. So a lot of the names are Dutch and obviously some of the food is Dutch. So we're savory people. So we want ones that have cheese, sausage, tomatoes. They look amazing. I guess you just eat it with a fork and knife like a regular pancake. Oh, it's almost like a saganaki, like the fried cheese on dough. Oh man, is that good. Really cheesy, really savory, that is good. The 10th thing you need to check out when visiting Aruba is Wilhelmina Park. Wilhelmina Park is a small green park lined with palm trees and filled with beautiful statues. It's also illuminated while at night and is a wonderful spot for romantic walks or sits in the park. The park walkway itself runs right along the ocean and with the lights of the hotel casts a really cool light on the water and creates a great view at night. Please let us know in the comments below if there are any other things in Aruba we should add to this list. If you have any questions we can help answer or just let us know if you have a trip to Aruba in the future that you're excited about. Seriously, guys, we love hearing from you and really appreciate all the comments. Thanks, and we'll see you in the next one. This boy is allergic to the sun. <laughs> Ultimate sun protection. Yeah, never should be too careful.